Let's also get to all the latest updates on the efforts that are underway to bring Choksi back to India. A Dominican magistrate court will today begin hearing Mehul Choksi's uh, case. This is with uh, regards to his illegal entry into the country, a charge that he is denied outright. The hearing in the magistrate court comes after the Dominican High Court on Friday denied bail to Choksi and deemed him again as a flight risk. Choksi is alleged that he was abducted from Antigua, beaten up and forcibly brought to Dominica. The fugitive Diamond has filed a repeat petition for his bail in the Dominica High Court, which is also likely to come up for hearing today. Meanwhile, India has approached the Dominican High Court seeking to be made a party in the case that's been filed by Choksi. India today has learned that the CBI and the External Affairs Ministry have sought to, an, to implede in a habeas corpus petition that's been filed in the Dominican High Court. Sources say the CBI is likely to focus on establishing criminal culpability of Choksi, his fugitive status, the red corner notice, and also the External Affairs Ministry will argue that Choksi continues to be an Indian citizen. Let's take this across to Geeta Mohan, who's joining us live this morning with the latest updates. Geeta, good morning. Uh, you know, you've got a very desperate Choksi filing one plea after another, hoping that he'll get some relief from the courts in Dominica. On the other hand, we understand that the CBI, the External Affairs Ministry, they're all set to put forward their case. At least they seek to do that in court and thereby build a strong case to bring back Choksi. Well, that's right. Uh, the important case of illegal entry of uh, Mehul Choksi, uh, the decision in the lower court, that's the magistrate's court, which is where the hippies focus uh, petition was filed, is uh, today, uh, later this evening, uh, morning in Dominica. And uh, we will have to see what the, what the uh, uh, ruling of that court is going to be. In all probability, we could see another date of hearing. Uh, but if at all the court rules, that's going to be crucial because it's a significant decision on whether if Choksi indeed came on his own onto that island nation or whether if he was forcefully brought in. There are affidavits, signed affidavits of officers who were there who at present while uh, Choksi was being apprehended. Uh, so we will, again, we will get details on what the, uh, what the, what the sworn affidavits really say. Uh, it is going to be a very important one, but like you rightly pointed out, it's not just about the illegal entry. India is trying to make a pitch to uh, be a party to that entire case, and if that happens, we in all probability will be seeing Harish Salve, QC, Queen's Council himself, uh, going to Dominica and representing India uh, in uh, the Dominican courts. But that again, the Attorney General and the courts will have to decide whether if India can be made party to the entire case. All right, Geeta, thank you for getting us all of those details. We'll be closely tracking all the updates that come in from the courts in Dominica.